a Bible session, Bible study session, and immediately after that, please tell me why. <laughs> please tell me why. I've just been told that the podcast that I recorded for it is out. <laughs> oh my god, I'm nervous as hell. Like, I have the biggest imposter syndrome. I put a podcast around, I think, a week or two ago, and it was the most exhilarating feeling, like exhilarating time and moment of my life because I'm just like, damn, I'm being interviewed? Me? Why? I don't feel worthy of being interviewed. Like, I'm just me. Like, I'm just, I'm just me. Like, if you guys understood who I see myself as, like, I'm just any other human being, but like, I was on a podcast? Damn, girl, you made it. I'm just going to listen to it. I was. I did want to listen to this from the time that I recorded this podcast. I was just like, I'm never gonna listen to this because I feel like I want to cringe out so much. But like, listen to it, listening to it right now, I'm just like, damn, girl, you speak some wisdom. Look at you go. Like, I'm, I'm listening to it and I'm just smiling so much. Like, I'm gonna um, attach the link to the podcast like in the description. Please go listen to it. Everything that I used to basically like talk about in my previous previous like if you if you used to know me back in the day when i was on youtube like all the rants all the complaints everything i used to just talk about about my high school life this is a different part of me like after the whole after having a reflection moment and realizing who i was then and who i was now who i am now i'm just like damn girl you've grown up You've really grown up. So go listen to the podcast. Go listen to the podcast. Like, I am personally very proud of the person who I have become just listening to that because I know, I know for a fact that I was just very blunt. Like, I put everything out there, but from a, from, from a point of, I'm grateful for everything that happened. I'm grateful for the, for the person that I am today because because of the experiences that I had before. I want a podcast. Next day, you're gonna see me writing a book. I'm gonna be on YouTube. Like I want a podcast. <laughs> I might as well just write a book. Please do let me know what you think about it. Do like follow the podcast, The Good, The Bad, and The Bisharian. That's what it's called. The Good, The Bad, and The Bisharian. This is my. This is basically supposed to be like my five to nine after my nine to five. I've got to be honest with you, like it's eight forty three. I I got home like at six forty, six fifty. So right now I just want to go listen to the podcast and just get some other work done. I posted my YouTube video earlier this afternoon, so go watch that. It's also a bit of a chit chat. Like I've been talking, I've been speaking a lot nowadays. I don't know what's happening. I don't speak this much. Who am I? I don't know, maybe it's a hairstyle. So let's just get on with the rest of the evening. for most of the day so I'm just kind of taking a break so that I can distress and just chill out for a bit I'm currently reading one good thing I know like I know in my previous vlog I was talking about a different book but like now I'm talking about this book listen I can read maybe three books at a go because I like mixing it up I think it allows me to always change my environment to change the mood of what I'm reading so I don't get bored as well um yeah and it kind of gives me like a sense of peace so currently i'm trying to read i'm really trying to avoid sleeping because that is always my solution to everything when i know i'm getting really tired and burnt out and kind of stressed earlier today i also posted an instagram reel 
on my Instagram account. I haven't been active on Instagram that much, like posting content. Like I post on my stories just for like a daily update, like I'm alive. But I haven't really posted in a while, so I posted a reel today of a motorsport event that I went to. And it was kind of hard, it was kind of hard, but like here's the thing with the algorithm that I'll never understand. When you haven't been active for such a long time, like please explain to me why. Like you can see the views on my stories are like really really high, but like the engagement on the content is ridiculously low. Like don't get me wrong, I never really like pay attention to it, but like just for me and my accountability and just for statistics, it never makes sense to me. Why? Why does Instagram do this? Um, it was a, it was a hard video. It was a very hard video in two in two ways. One, editing it was difficult. Please, it looks easy, but it was not because there was a lot of footage. So just to get those clips themselves was not easy. Secondly, it was hard in the sense that please. I don't just put out basic content like I put in the effort to do this so that that video is hard the music the hook everything about it is it's hard like listen I'm not even guessing myself up but I have to I have to give credit where it's due Don't do it, please. Because it's making you hungry already. 